Hi, welcome back to engineeringtalks.com. In the previous video, we went through the shear force and bending moment diagrams of a cantilever beam subjected to a uniformly distributed load along with a point load at the free end. In this video, we'll discuss the shear force and bending moment diagrams of a cantilever beam with a uniformly varying load. That is, the cantilever beam is subjected to a uniformly varying load like this. So, happy learning and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon. We all know what a cantilever beam is, right? A beam which is fixed at one end and free at the other end is known as a cantilever beam. And here we have a uniformly varying load. So, what is a uniformly varying load? A load which is spread over a beam in such a manner that the rate of loading varies from point to point along the length of the beam like this is known as a uniformly varying load. Here at this end we have load equal to 0 and at this end the load is equal to W. That is load is 0 at one end and it increases uniformly to the other end. Such a load is known as a uniformly varying load or triangular load. I have explained the different types of beams and the types of loadings in one of the videos on uh, shear force and bending moment diagrams. So I'll provide the link in the description. So watch that video in order to have a clear understanding of the types of beams and the types of loadings. For solving the numerical problems, we have to convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load whose value will be equal to the area of this triangle and it will be acting at the CG of the triangle. So, center of gravity of the triangle will be at a distance of 1 by 3rd of the total length of the beam from the left end or 2 by 3rd of the total length of the beam from the right end. That is L by 3 from the left end or at a distance of 2 by 3 L from the right end. Now, I will explain you how we can calculate the shear force and bending moment values along the length of this beam. So, here we have a cantilever beam of length L with a uniformly varying load over it. For calculating the shear force and bending moment values, let's first consider a section x at a distance of x meters from the free end of the B. And let fx be the shear force and mx be the bending moment at this section x. Now, for calculating the shear force and bending moment values, I already told you that we have to consider either the left portion of the section or the right portion of the section. Let's consider the right portion of the section. So, this is the right portion of the section and let this distance be equal to y. Now, for finding out the value of y, let's compare this triangle with this triangle. So, here we have w by l is equal to y by x. Therefore, y will be equal to w into x by l. Therefore, y is equal to w x by l. Now let's convert this uniformly varying load into a point load whose value will be equal to the area of this triangle. So area of this triangle is equal to half into x into w x by l, right? So this point load will be equal to half into w x by l into x which will be equal to w x square by 2 l and this point load will be acting at the cg of this triangle. So, I already told you that CG of this triangle is 1 by 3rd of the total distance from the left end or 2 by 3rd of the total distance from the right end. Therefore, it will be acting at a distance of x by 3 from left end or 2x by 3 from the right end like this. Let's first find out the shear force value acting at this section. So, we know that shear force is equal to the algebraic sum of the forces acting on either the left portion or on the right portion of the section. So, here we have considered the right portion of the section. So, it will be equal to the algebraic sum of the forces acting on the right portion of the section. So, here we have only this force that is Wx square by 2L which is acting in the downward direction. And any force acting in the downward direction on the right portion of the section will be considered as positive. So, this force will be positive. Therefore, the shear force acting at this section is equal to plus W x square by 2 L. That is, shear force at the section is equal to W x square by 2 L. Now, 
the bending moment will be equal to this force into the perpendicular distance. So, bending moment at this section is equal to W x square by 2 L into x by 3, which will be equal to W x cube by 6 L. But this load has a tendency to rotate this beam in the clockwise direction. See, like this. This is clockwise direction. So, any moment which is in the clockwise direction on the right portion of the section will be considered as negative. Therefore, this bending moment will be negative. Therefore, minus W x cube by 6 L. Now, we know that shear force is equal to W x square by 2 L and bending moment is equal to minus W x cube by 6 L at this section x. And from the equation of shear force, it is evident that shear force is proportional to the square of the distance of this section from the free end of the beam. That is, it follows a parabolic law. Therefore, we will have to represent the variation of shear force in the shear force diagram using a parabolic curve. And from the equation of bending moment, it is clear that bending moment is proportional to the cube of the distance of this section from the free end of the beam. That is, it follows a cubic law. Therefore, we will have to represent the variation of bending moment in the bending moment diagram using a cubic curve. Now, at this end, at the free end of the beam, x equal to 0. Therefore, shear force will be equal to 0. That is, w into 0 by 2L will be equal to 0. Now, at the fixed end of the beam, that is at point A, this shear force will be equal to w L square by 2L. Therefore, Shear force will be equal to W L by 2 at the fixed end of the beam. Now, the bending moment at the free end of the beam, that is at point B, will be equal to uh, M at x equal to 0. That is, bending moment will be equal to 0. W into x cube by 6 L will be 0. And at the fixed end of the beam, x will be equal to L. Therefore, the bending moment will be equal to minus w l q by 6 l. We just have to substitute l in the place of x. So, minus w l q by 6 l which will give you minus w l square by 6. And you can represent the shear force acting at the cg of the triangle that is at a distance of l by 3 from the uh, fixed end or 2 l by 3 from the free end of the beam. Now let's draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. First we'll draw the shear force diagram. For that we have to draw the baseline. This is the baseline. Now at this end shear force is equal to 0 and at the fixed end of the B shear force is equal to W L by 2. And in this case, shear force is positive. Therefore, we have to plot it above the baseline. All the positive values of shear force as well as bending moment will be plotted above the baseline. Now, we have to join this point and this point using a parabolic curve. So, let's join these two points. And the parabolic curve looks like this. And this is a parabolic curve and here we have W L by 2. This end is A, this is B and here you can mark it as uh, C and this uh, shear force diagram is positive and you can shade this region. So, this is the shear force diagram of a cantilever beam of length L with a uniformly varying load over it. Now, let's draw the bending moment diagram. So, first we will draw the baseline. Now, at this end, bending moment is 0 and at this end, bending moment is minus W L square by 6. So, it is negative in this case. So, we will have to mark it below the baseline. So, let this be w l square by 6. Now we have to join this point and this point using a cubic curve. So let's join these two points 
and the cubic curve looks like this and you can shade this region and mark it as negative and here it is uh, A and here it is B and let's mark this end as C and here we have W L squared by 6 and this is the baseline and this is the cubic curve So this is the shear force and bending moment diagrams of a cantilever beam of length L with a uniformly varying load over it. In the shear force diagram, the shear force variation is represented using a parabolic curve whereas in the bending moment diagram, the variation of bending moment is represented using a cubic curve. And at the section X, the shear force value is equal to Wx square by 2L and the bending moment value is equal to w, Wx cube by 6L. And uh, by varying the values for x, we can calculate the shear force and bending moment values at each and every section along the beam. Please do like and share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.